from your lose your losses. set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind, it certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. And now the throw taken in by Shark. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. 
If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ready up. Second and three. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 and the 19. The sack by the linebacker, Jameen Davis. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And his kick is indeed good. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So they're able to win that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, early on, you know, Charles, every game can be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a major game. Let's say 15, 16, man. somewhere in that neighborhood. That's what I'm talking about. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Watson. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. The loss results there. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. And a penalty flag comes in as that one lines up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Hey, 
Now back to throw. And this one too low. Ray certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. They'll drop the throw. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Back to throw again. Touchdown! Jalen Waddle with career touchdown number 70. And the Barons have taken the lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 11. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. At this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Here's Watson. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their play play. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. On first down, it's Watson, and he'll be taken down at about the 45. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Watson. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now a handoff up the middle. Watson. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. They'll run on first down. It's Watson. 58 yards rushing for it in the ball game now on 14 carries. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On first down, it's Watson. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Up the middle they go. Watson. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go until halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try the left side. It's Watson. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And the tight end goes in motion left. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. His throw caught at about the five. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They're going to look to throw. And that's going to be knocked away. Yeah, in the end zone, it's incomplete. Hey. Coaches Whoa. talk about Whoa. it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing yeah. a well. possible touchdown. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line, second and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it, incomplete. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle reset and try something different. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will do it for this first half. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Back to throw here. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Returnable for Watson. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work. Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. They'll try the left side. It's Watson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And the slot man goes in motion left. Right back to him on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Barons go up by two touchdowns. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 17-3. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. See a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they lost string together a nice drive and helped themselves out. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. Hoping on that type of a play that they can get to the end of the line and have.
time a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. The tight end in motion right. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And Shark holds it in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. One corner remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Here's second and eight. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. They'll send the tight end in motion. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's gonna go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And as a result, possession switches hands. Here we go. The offense. 
offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, well, they've got 95% chance. Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. I told you, man, damn. And use their first timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Try and run for it. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Watson. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. Eight yards the game to the last run here. Second and a couple. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Touchdown! Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taking it about the one. And it takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Again, it's Cook. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. A give to Cook out of the gun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a give to Cook. And some room to win over. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now for the 33. Cook up the gun. Now the ball comes loose. But it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass the truth. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. It's going the other way. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try to be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Ready! They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to air one out. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense. And a little bit, too. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll look to throw here on first down. Dancing to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They didn't give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the 